Now we got a very interesting record for you here this time. It's called I've Got the Girl by Don Clark and his Los Angeles Biltmore Hotel Orchestra. And this is uh, 824D on the Columbia Viva Tonal um, uh, label. And it really is uh, legendary because it marked the very first time that legendary uh, vocalist Bing Crosby recorded on record. And as the story goes, in 1926, <clears throat> while singing at the Los Angeles Metropolitan Theater, Crosby and his then vocal duo partner, Al Rinker, caught the eye of Paul Whiteman, who was at that time arguably the most um, uh, famous band leader of his time. Uh, they were hired by 100 for $150 a week, and they made their debut on December 6, 1926, at the Tivoli Theater in Chicago. But their first recording, I've Got the Girl, was actually um, done in October of uh, 1926, which was two months before that they would actually record their first recording with Whiteman. And uh, I've Got the Girl was with Don Clark's orchestra, and it was issued by Columbia. And unfortunately, it, uh, it did them no vocal favors, as it sounded as if they were singing in a key that was much too high for them. Uh, it was later revealed that the 78 RPM was recorded at a speed slower than it should have been, which increased the pitch when played at 70 R 78 RPM. So although the record is very unimpressive from a vocal standpoint, as you will soon hear, it's um, historically legendary because it marks the first time that Bing Crosby actually performed on record. So I'm going to give that to you right now. Here is Don Clark and his orchestra, and I've got the girl from October of 1926. Uh, featuring a brief vocal by Al Rinker and Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby and his uh, duo partner Al Rinker 
and their first recorded effort with Don Clark and his orchestra from October of 1926.